What up, world? It's your favorite homegirl, Gina Views. Welcome back to Whole Fashions, where we have unfiltered conversations about relationships and intimate experiences. Today, Ooh. I got the king of the ratchet, Mr. Lately, I've been feeling like you owe me something, mister. I do it for the ratchets. Joe Moses in the building. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, lately? Like, hey. Long time coming. Um, yes. I'm not afraid to be a fangirl. I'm not afraid to say that of that era, you are on my Mount Rushmore. I appreciate it. And, um, you know, I don't feel like you get the... Recognition that you deserve for what you represent and who you are for the coast. Not only are you an artist, but you do have a football team. Yeah. You signed artists. It's not too many people who looking out for the new artists like that. Definitely. And, um, you know, your last show, the Joe Moses and friends, I was just so freaking blown away because you brought them artists on stage. Yeah. They're my guys. I mean, and then you cast them out. All of them, like pretty much all the artists that I brought out. We really got a special relationship. Like, mm -hmm. Like, really, my guys. It's some type of memory, a moment that I didn't share with those guys. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then outside of the people that you have signed to you um, on the Joe Moses and Friends, you had, like, um, I think Ruchi popped out. Oh my God. Um, King Combs popped out. Wally the Sensei. Yeah. And then one that was just super unexpected, and I just thought this was so gangster. Savvy third. Yeah, that's my crib. It's a, it, was, it was like some blood. It's just a room full of blood, and you got Savvy third. I mean, I'm from Crip Street. Yeah. And I was like, that was just so. It was cool because it shows that we can all be one. Yeah. And yeah. I, I always love seeing you and um, RJ together. That's bro. I love that. I'd be excited for them. So yeah, you know, like Savvy Third, AD, uh, Rucci. Mm -hmm. I really, I really watched their career manifest. Yeah. I really was around their career, so I'd be excited for them. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like me coaching football or something, and, and being excited. I'd be more excited. For for the kids than they be for they self. Yeah. Because they don't understand some, sometimes. Like, I done seen everything. So, I be excited for the Savvy Thurs, the Ruchis, the Kalen For Real For Real. I was around for they, when their career start to take off. So, mm -hmm. I be definitely excited for them and where they going in life. And I always pray on their journey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're my God. And um, you just dropped a new song. Rum, rum, rum. That's crazy, yeah. I don't know how to say it, though. <laughs> say it for me. Brum, dum. Brum, dum. Mm -hmm. That's for the big booty. I can't really partake nah, in that. that's for everybody, though. Yeah, but you, I'm more like, brother, I'm don't. Yeah, that's for, that's for, that's that's for, that's for, you know, he love me. Don't Rolling like with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's for. You done changed his name? That's it. Yeah, his name, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, nah, that's for everybody, though. It ain't just for, like, the big booty girls. I probably did that song in, like, eight minutes. Shout out to DJ West Coast. Um, mm -hmm. He produced the song. Shout out to Olivia. Everybody that has something to do with the song, um. I was, I think my studio session was ended at 3.30 or something like that. I was already in the studio for like five hours. And I think it was like, no cap, probably like 3.23. Mm. And my studio session ended at 3.30. Mm -hmm. And I did that song. DJ West Coast put on that beat. And I promise you, I freestyled that whole song. And that song is it. Like, What were you doing in the session prior to that? Like, what music was you making prior I to was, that? I, I did like three or four songs. And we was just... We was just going, and then that beat came on, and I'm like, "Why you didn't play this beat first? But yeah. look how stuff happened in mysterious ways. And he put the beat on, and they like, I'm telling everybody, like, relax, hold on, let me listen to this. And I just went in the booth, and uh, like my whole team was there. Mm -hmm. Khadija was there, uh, C4 was there, uh, Dage, Dage, no, Dage and Khadija was there, and C4 was there. Um, and we just went in. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. So I'm about to say something that you probably ain't gonna want me to say. But where mm -hmm. that album at? With uh, you and Ty was supposed to drop that album. I think I heard it like two years ago. It's one for the it's for the ratchets. It's for the wifeies. It's really for the. It's really for the. And I'm 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 getting to the point where you wasn't supposed to curse the first five minutes. We had shit. Oh orders. yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, y'all. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> it's really for the women, and um, like that's the secret that. R and B's be having over rap. It's, that's the secret that Drake be having over this too. Like, yeah. don't do music for the women, and the women is our biggest fan. So, yeah, I always like eighty five percent be want to like do more music for the women. So that album, I've told Ty like we gotta be on fucking 
pretty Ricky type, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and he was like, he looked at me and I'm like, yeah, bro. And he, he knew exactly where I wanted to take it. And I'm talking about, we was in the studio for probably like six days, about six days. And he'd be in there three days. I'd be in there three days. And I'm talking about by ourselves. And I like four verses. He'd come back in there, lay the hook down, boom, boom, boom. And the album was done probably in like six days. Mm -hmm. And it's ready. I'm waiting on him. You know, yeah. it's logistics now, man, when it comes to dropping these albums. Yeah. So it get hard, man. So it get like, he got an album coming out. He had an album coming out with Mustard. You know what I'm saying? He got an album. He had an album coming out with somebody else. Yeah. Now he's working with Kanye. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it's hard. Like He over there in Italy with no shoes on. Man, he over there and <laughs> he over there in the middle of the desert. And uh, where you at in the middle of the desert? What's that? Um... Uh, I forgot. Yeah, I don't but, but they yeah. don't got no shoes on. Yeah, they, they're going crazy over there. <laughs> <laughs> he be calling me 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. What you doing? Send me some songs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I think a big secret a lot of people don't know that you do right for people too. Definitely. Um, what stimulates Joe Moses? Like how do you even get into your mode to... I think I'm always in a mode. I think because gradually like people don't understand like this lifestyle is different from the lifestyle I already had. Mm. So it's like it's not hard to get in the mold when it, this has changed my family life. Like yeah. when this has changed your life, like gradually, like you get about that mode and get into this mode. This is the best life I can ever have. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Change the life for my kids, change the life for my family. So it's not hard to get in the mold when it's like, it's a blessing. Yeah. It's a blessing for me. Like I, what else would I be doing? Gang banging? That wasn't fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like running around and chasing, chasing you you and you ready to do something to them like that's not fun mm -hmm. so this life to be able to party for free and get paid for it yeah and travel the world and see beautiful women you know what i'm saying take your homies out of the hood you know what i'm saying i done did some inspirational things for for the city and for myself so i'm always in that mood to make music like mm -hmm. that's the best thing that ever happened to me your um your first project drop was it 2012 or yeah. 2013 yeah like i think like 2010 probably something like that so we're in 2023, mm -hmm. almost 2024. And I'm here. Because we've seen a lot of people come and go. Yeah. We've seen people be hot, then we see them be cold. Yeah. We done lost a lot of rappers. How, do, how does Joe Moses manage to stay um, relevant? So I told somebody this the other day. Like People think uh, staying relevant is just all about making music in California and the city. Mm -hmm. For me, um, starting some businesses, I was a part of a club venture, Champ City. Kept me relevant years, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Uh, I created barbershops. Uh, um, you got a clothing line? I got clothing a clothing line, line shoes, mm -hmm. um, just owning businesses, a uh, re uh, restaurant with my mom, um, and just getting out there, really being in L.A., seeing the people. A lot of people are afraid of the city that they say they're actually from. Me, I actually get in the city. My football team keep me relevant. All these new kids. I created a whole different fan base with my football team. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Plus, we one of the top football teams in California. So, um, just Three-time that, champions? Yeah. Without, the, the, yes. I mean, last Sunday, we won four out of five. Okay. At Southwest College. You know what I'm saying? Snoop was there. Blue Bucks performed. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you know the LA Chiefs is out here wrecking it. But just staying relevant in music is just like, always reinventing yourself mm -hmm. and a lot of people are afraid to reinvent themselves. Mm -hmm. a lot of people be like oh man he got the earring he grew his hair um he like it's just so much that you know the city be afraid to do because they think that gangster rap is supposed to stay in one unique style but it's like mm -hmm. me i'm always trying to be ahead of the game i'm always trying to see what the kids is on and whatever the kids is on that's what i'm on because mm -hmm. the kids are you know what i mean everything they control our careers pretty much i think that's amazing though um being a part of like a pop warner league because like, oh, i cheer pop warner yeah what so, you cheer for the vikings the compton vikings Compton vikings yeah. uh wadu um little wadu mm -hmm. they all play um uh was a lot of people that I know that was a part of the yeah. Compton Vikings. I just found out Siete uh, actually played for the Vikings. Siete from Compton. Yeah. That's my brother. Uh -huh. That's my little bro. Uh -huh. Yeah. We just had him on. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's I think that's something that's like super important to the community. Definitely. Is having a little league and stuff like that. And I, I mean, I didn't I didn't even know that it was still a Going. thing until I found out that you were yeah. a yeah. part of it. Because y'all was at um So far. So far, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So Snoop, um, uh, Big U, Al. Um, 
what I do is uh, some inspirations that kept me going. Stacy, Reggie, like all the people at SYFL, especially Snoop and Big U, mm-hmm. um, kept me going and and was like, nephew, you need to create your own lead. So I created my own, not my own lead, but my own team. So I created my own team, which was the LA Chiefs. I was a South Bay Packer growing up my whole life. And um, it was some stopping the roads with that. Well, I wanted to continue doing that, but I kept the, I started my own thing, which was the LA Chiefs. And when I say it's like the best thing that ever happened to me, like as far as touching the city with these kids, like, I'm really like changing kids' life, getting them to college. And my son play football. Both of my sons, one of my sons go to Sierra Canyon. He about to go to college. He one of the top running backs. So that for me it's like it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's it's way different than a rap game. Like the rap game is way different than that. So much positive energy. Mm-hmm. And I meet so many different people doing that. But it's definitely a thing and it's definitely big. And SYFL, shout out to SYFL, it's definitely a big thing. You know what I mean? Do you think that your verse in Paranoid blackballed you in any way? Nah, hell no. I, it was the, the business on my part wasn't handled right. So, and then, you know, the labels, like, that's what I love about the city, too. The labels was like, you know, try to, like, put Ty in a predicament where there was, like, a B.O.B. was dropping his album. Ty was dropping his album. B.O.B. just had the biggest song that came out on Atlantic. Mm-hmm. Him and Ty on Atlantic. I wasn't signed to Atlantic. It's harder breaking. Um, unsigned artists versus artists that's already there. They worry about yeah. the streaming. They worry about everything matching up. But L.A. didn't fuck with that. L.A. didn't fuck with B.O.B. version. You never heard that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they might have put B.O.B. on that version. L.A. supported Joe Moses' version. Mm-hmm. Power 106, 92.3. They supported me. You know what I'm saying? Felly Fell, DJ E-Man, um, Sour Milk, Just Incredible, Charisma. Mm-hmm. Um, they all supported Joe Moses. So I really didn't give a fuck about what was going on. I was yeah. still getting paid. I went damn near four times platinum on that song. I was mm-hmm. a writer on that song. I made a lot of money on that song. So you you still got royalties from it? I still got everything. Okay, okay. Now, because for people I'm still for the, eating off that right now. I heard that. Yeah. For the people who don't know, and that's the song where you said, um, "Ain't no tinies around me. I'm not Ti." Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a bar <laughs> though, but that it was, was wrong though. Do you regret it now? No, nah, I don't regret nothing in life. I'm, I'm a gangster. You know what I'm saying? But it was wrong because it was somebody's wife. <laughs> It was wrong because it was somebody's wife, and it was like, I didn't mean it for us. I didn't mean, I didn't mean the bar to be like so, you know, provocative. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it was like, like if somebody said that about my wife, I would have been tripping like him. You know what I'm saying? He had all rights to, you know what I'm saying, to be tripping. Mm-hmm. So, you know, on on the respect that I have for him, because Ti one of my favorite rappers. Okay, that shit just rhymed so so catchy when I was in the booth. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The bar before that, and I was like. And I just put that, and I was like, damn, that's a bar. Like, Did you write that we, in, just, we just being creative. Did you write that in eight minutes, too? I wrote that in, like, four. <laughs> no cap. That's mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that shit was like a hit. Did anybody in the studio go like, I don't know if we should? Because I, I, with rap, I feel like, so I was surprised when I found out that there was an outrage on that because it's rap. Yeah. So was anybody did anybody tell you beforehand like I don't think we should touch that or did I you think, find out it was I think crazy? I was probably like, uh, bro, I don't know. And then he was, uh, I think the shit with everybody else was like, shit, <laughs> that shit a yeah. bar. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But it wasn't never meant to be that disrespectful the way mm-hmm. it came out. And I'm a man now. I can admit it because again, that's somebody's wife. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And um, if you were a battle rapper, they wouldn't have cared. They wouldn't have gave a fuck. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But on that song that they planted. Two of my bitches in the club and they playing that yeah. shit. And you driving in your car yeah. and you ain't got no CDs no more and you gotta listen to the radio and that <laughs> shit come on with your kids in the car and shit. Yeah. You have all right to be mad at Joe Moses and want to do whatever was you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I mean, you know, I got the call from him. He that that's what I was gonna ask. Did y'all ever have a conversation? Yeah, he definitely, he definitely got on the phone with me. You know what I'm saying? And, and what was that call like? It was, it, but you see how Ti talk. You know yeah, saying? was he using big words talking to Definitely you? Definitely talking, talking like Did that. Did you have to pull up Google? Because Ti the type of nigga, I think I have to be on Google to see nah, what it means. But I'm just, I'm just <laughs> no cap. I'm just a gangster about every situation. So it was like the call didn't go pretty much the way he probably wanted to, and it didn't go the way I wanted to. I ain't turning down nothing. 
So it was heated. It was a heated conversation. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all love. It's all respect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm so did older. you guys end on a good note? We never we never ended up on a good note. We never ended up on nothing. Is there any smoke? Hey, who, whoever wants smoke with me can get smoke with me. I okay. But, I mean, as a grown man now, that shit was six, seven years ago. Yeah, yeah. There ain't no smoke Have y'all been in the same room since? Definitely. So it's no smoke? It ain't no smoke, no. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what I mean? It ain't no smoke, you know. Now you are a name dropper in songs. Yeah, like mm-hmm. like what? Because I don't like 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 names what? Like. Tell me. A son, son, son. Before I fuck nigga, baby. Mess. You said some. What's the lyrics? Because I was I was deep. I was like deep in my Apple Music um, library today in See, the Joe Moses category, and I was trying to so find a song, and I couldn't I find Nikki, a song. Baby. I think we talked about this already. <laughs> You told me about a couple of them. I mean, I ain't that, gonna lie. that wasn't that wasn't podcasting, and I ain't no pillow talker, so that was just Gina, Gina, Joe, Gina, Moses. Joe, yeah, yeah, Gina, Joe. We are Toss friends. To that. Yeah. yeah, you're that's my just, nigga. Yeah, that's just Gina, Joe <laughs> conversations where you know you want to know some shit. I'm, I'm a nosy saying. motherfucker. I'm gonna ask him, yeah, for and sure. then I'm gonna ask when the cameras come on. Mm-hmm. So, so answer again. No. <laughs> I'm just playing. We can save it. We are on whole fashion so If you want to give us a list of celebrity bitches, basketball wives, because you did say you hit some basketball wives. I did. I hit a few. Like LA on. basketball wives are like, you know, they got the new Orlando. No, no, Orlando went out back then. I ain't never touched none of them. So who you hit? I hit a couple. I ain't, but we ain't. Mm-hmm. No. Uh-huh. Um, but have you ever gotten any, like, other than the, the TR Tiny Bar, have you gotten any backlash for name dropping your bodies? Um... No, because the women that I noticed that women feed off content. So even if it was bad, like they like it, they still. love it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You get yeah. some people that I think they hit my phone, but like, nigga, they be like, they call me, I face something, I'm waiting on them to say something crazy. They be like, stay in the bar. I be like, damn, they love it. You know what I'm Hell saying? Hell no. I swear, I saw my kids. I just got, no. a, I just got one of my coaches just called me the other day. He like, yeah, and you say my, my, my baby mama telling people you saying you uh, fucked the coach wife. Uh, listen, I don't even. I ain't never even. You didn't know. That's on my kids. I never did nothing to her. It's a thousand people that's with this name that I said this on. What's the name? <laughs> <laughs> Misha. Okay, me yeah, Misha is pretty. That's what I'm saying. That's pretty common. But so did he think you smashed Misha? Never, because that's my or brother. Or did Misha tell your brother? It be people that just be lying. That just be like, you see, he said my name in the song, and I be like, I wasn't even talking about. I don't even know you. I've never met you a day in my life. Yeah. So we not Misha, even. That's not even my type. So what Misha you was on? I was talking about a Misha in the Bay. Mm. You fucked the Misha in the Bay. Yeah. Shout out to Misha in the Bay. Yeah. Shout out to her. Yeah, it wasn't like a fuck. It was like a relationship type vibe. So you was in a relationship without getting no pussy? No, nah, I fucked too, though. Oh, okay. But it wasn't just like, you know how niggas come up here and be lying on their wee-wee? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I use them type of words, my fault, yeah. <laughs> we could you say wee-wee. Yeah. yeah. Rolling trying to stick his wee-wee out right now <laughs> on your sister. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, no, nah, you know how niggas just be like, oh, I just... Yeah. No, nah, that was... It was a, it was a thing. You know? Okay, so Miss Nikki Baby wasn't tripping that you said her name? Mm-mm. We done been out to dinner. I mean, Oh, where time you take ago, her? What before. was your first date? No, I'm talking about after that. I done seen oh. her. We was out to dinner with mutual friends and stuff. And mm-hmm. that's still my dog. I think she she was pregnant by one of the balls. She just had a baby by one of the balls. Oh, she did. I'm so sorry. Congratulations. Congrats, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, you did. I did. I might cut hey. all that up. <laughs> <laughs> totally like, forgot. I don't like to play with people in relationships. You trying to get a motherfucking divorced already and ain't even married. He know who he married. I mean, he oh, know who he with. Oh, my goodness. He know. <laughs> What you know? A nice, sweet, humble girl. Yes. That get her back. Yes. A beautiful woman. Mm-hmm. A beautiful woman is going to be a beautiful mother. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Keep it going. Who is TT? TT? I don't know. You said TT in the song. I was trying to figure out. TT is like an auntie type vibe, huh? No, you didn't say it. You said something else about TT. What did I say about TT? Who, what TT you think I'm talking about? Because we from the same city. And you be calling me on shit, and I realize I don't even know what the also, fuck you're talking about. Also, we are talking about that TT. I don't know what TT you talking about. <laughs> oh, so we talking about the same TT. Nah, we ain't talking about. I Shout out know. to TT. I don't know what TT you talking about. Well, you said auntie. Yeah, TT is like, you know, that's like auntie. I refer to TT as like auntie. You weren't talking about nobody auntie, though. How you know that? Who owe you some pussy? From owe me something? Who owe me some pussy? Is it any like pussy out here that you just like 
you owe me some. Like, bitch, I feel like I should have, like, I came across you, you didn't give it to me, and I feel like lately I've been feeling like you owe me some. Can I, can I be totally honest with you? I'm, yeah. like, undefeated. Oh, so you get all of them. I, no, I'm not saying that I get all of them, but everything that I went out for, yeah, I'm undefeated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the future no, thug no, Meek Mills no, Drake no. I've been around the greats. So y'all fucking the same bitches? I ain't saying we fucking the same bitches, but I'm saying I've been around some greats that nigga, when I come around, they're like, oh, what's up, Joe Moses? Mm-hmm. And then my brother in the back, like, sniper. I'm just like, sitting I'm, here like, I love what this headline is going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a... I'm a snipe. <laughs> I'm a snipe. So uh, are any of them your Eskimo brothers? Who? Future, Thug. Future is my brother. Dre. You know Thug is my brother. Future and Thug is my brother off top. And Meek, that's my brother. I've been knowing Meek for years. Uh-huh. Are y'all Eskimo brothers though? Me and Future probably are. Like, What's Eskimo brothers? What you mean by that? You know what I mean. I don't know what you're so talking about. So why you say they probably are if you don't know what I'm talking about? I don't about. know what you're talking about. What I thought you thought you I was like talking cold, about? Like, like what? Cold, like cold. What? What cold? Like bird. Your chain is cold. Like Eskimo brothers. Like what you talking about? <laughs> That's what you thought I meant. Yeah. Oh, you on bullshit right now? <laughs> What's Eskimo brothers? <laughs> when y'all done, y'all done had the same bodies. Oh, we don't say shit like that. We just say snipe, snipe, snipe. What snipe. do women say when they have the same bodies? We don't say it. Oh, y'all just yeah. I'm not telling the bitch. Oh, y'all don't even talk about shit like that. Y'all yeah, go no. to the grave with y'all shit. Yeah, I actually, me and my friends, so we are actually not attracted to the same guys. Yeah. So if we've ever done that, like it was like super on accident. I do have one friend where we like, his daddy actually, my baby daddy. Uh, one of my homegirls fucked him before me. Okay. So we didn't know. Later on, we found out, and I yeah. hit her like, bitch, you know, da, 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 da. and she like, yeah, I fucked him in high school. Oh, okay. So I was a little later, but yeah, for the most part, like, we don't really, like, talk. So did both of y'all brag on the pullback? No, nah, his shit actually crazy. Shout out to my baby daddy. It's like, you know, some niggas got baby toes, and some niggas got baby legs. <laughs> he got, like, a fat baby long leg. Like, that's... <laughs> I love my baby daddy. That's uh, he bought me the dog. You hey, know? you are brazy <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> See, he a freak just like his daddy, huh? Ain't you? He trying to hump right now. You still in love? You ever text him like, damn? No, um, I believe that nobody's yours. It's just your turn. So you are a Leo too. I forgot. So oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're a Leo. I don't even know why I'm sitting up here playing with you like that. So, um, I mean, like in a perfect world, like you know, we all you. Some people are like attached to you, mm-hmm. you know, forever. It don't matter how many people relationships you move on from or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I'm just I'm a hoarder of relationships. Like I've had my same friends since I was ten years old. I feel that. So I don't like I don't like to move on from you know from stuff. But once it's time to move on, it's time to move on. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's like I'm outside. So do y'all have like mutual contact with the dog? Like, do y'all like he take it three days? He take rolling three days? He take Brim three days? He take, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Nah, he ain't never came over. I mean, he didn't pull it. He put my TVs up. Okay, but he like um, he don't come get the dog or nothing. So he hit after he put the TVs up. Oh, we was fucking. Oh, okay. yeah, we was fucking for sure. Right. I'm gonna cut all this out. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, you know. Don't cut all this and keep all my bad shit. <laughs> no, if you're going to keep all this shit, you're going to keep this all this. This is the ratchet episode. Maybe I'll, I'll leave it in. It's my baby daddy. No. I, I get a pass with the, with the BD, right? Yeah, for uh, sure. Yeah. You still fucking your baby mamas? You got a lot of them. I have a lot of baby mamas, but I ain't still. Because it was a song where you had said, ain't no bitch pretty enough for me to like go in raw. But I was just thinking, I'm like, but you got a lot of kids. I do. I got kids. So you like a like a... Bareback king To some To some Yeah That shit gotta smell like Ocean Okay um, Ocean fresh You walk past a club And say I'm gonna shoot This motherfucker up No fuck no If you do some shit like that You gonna end up In that place What place Clinic Oh okay On Western That YG was talking about He did say It's a clinic on Western Mm -hmm. Bitch you ought to go Yeah (laughs) Nah that's not Everybody don't deserve that how do you decide who deserves the name? I don't really even know. I couldn't even tell you. Because you showed me one of your baby mamas where I was like, how do y'all even know each other? Just some, some freak shit. You know which one I'm talking about? She bad? The one, the, I don't, I'm not going to disrespect your baby mama, but you know which one I'm talking about. No, which one? The Chinese one. 
Oh, the, see, I was on, I was on in Orange County getting cracking. It was like it's like like I don't want to disrespect her at all, but it's like straight nail shop. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is though. No, for real, for real. <laughs> She is done. I was like, bro, how did you? How, I, I have a, a, how did you meet her? My baby is twenty years old, and she's she she is pretty as fuck. And I had her as a kid, though. I was yeah. like sixteen or some shit like that. But my daughter, mom, we look, we totally opposite. She was a she was a gangster though. She was down for everything. Mm-hmm. She kind of matured me a lot too. You know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. my my baby matured me a lot. But she's definitely right. It don't look. She's Asian. Okay. And it didn't look like, you know what I'm saying? It's not the Joe Moses from, you know what I mean? From yeah. now, you know what I'm saying? She was the hella pretty back, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But she's just Asian and I was just like a nigga. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. she was like an Asian nigga. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? You get them Asian niggas. She probably fucked me up. Nah, she on she ain't on no like no tolerance. She like got that. more kids? Nah, she only had one, just mine. My just daughter. You still fucking? No, she's a, she's married. Oh, okay. She's married. Would you run it She's back? She's in Miss- Mississippi. No. She not your type no more. No, no, you're not, not not standing like that. But my dick is totally different now. Oh, you got a new dick. I got a new new one. I heard that. Yeah. I heard that. Where you buy that one at? She's not one of the. She's not one of the people that I will eject. You know how you got the old VCR that you can eject your dick. Yeah. Like she's not one of the, the, the. I ain't saying she is, but it's a lot of women that I would eject a lot my of dick them. out. It's a lot. Of a them. lot of yeah. them. Yeah. I was okay. high off them dum dums, and you know what I'm saying. You know, I'll park off this Hennessy. Yeah. This shit ain't no joke right here. Yeah. Well, don't touch it because I'm not trying to get pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> You got he got so many kids he look at me I'm I, I'm you know <laughs> I'm I'm cool No nah, ain't nothing like that He you got more than Nick Cannon <laughs> Nick Cannon got like 11 How many you got Like 9 <laughs> Same <laughs> Nigga said the same thing <laughs> I want like two more too On the way No I want two more right now Oh you want two more Yeah oh, Okay do you have a um I don't know a contractor yeah, I'm in a poly relationship. Oh, okay. How's that working out for you? Yeah, I've been the best shit since. Is that some new shit? Because every nigga I meet, they keep trying to tell me they want me nah, to be see, on poly I really with them. I really don't come on here. You're the first person I ever told that. You ain't see me post it really like that. This breaking my close news. friends. Yeah, this breaking news. My close friends, they understand. My family still got family. That you know, what I'm saying everybody just ain't in that that world. Like you know, what I'm saying so. So are you doing it for? Um, Cause this what a nigga broke it down to me. He started talking about the environment. A, a nigga told me. Let me know. <laughs> a nigga told me it's like going. It's like eco. Like it was like the environment and like you know more than one income in the household and it's like you know more women to raise the kids and stuff like that. Like he broke it down. Cause I hear Polly. A nigga tell me he do Polly. I say, oh, you just want to have threesomes all the time. No, nah, no. Nah, I just love the two women that I love. So it's not like nothing to do with like any um, cultural beliefs or anything like I that. I am, I am, I believe in the old school way where you got a lot of women that's like from the old school that I tell you, um, poly relationships was like um, a thing back then. I'm talking about your grandma, grandma. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So I just believe in an old school way where you know it's it's more urban now because you got everybody talking about threesomes and shit like that. It's not about mm-hmm. the threesomes and shit with me. It's about But y'all be having threesomes? It's about the two women that I love. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ever like just sit back and watch them like play with each other pussy? What's the I, best part of it? Keep it real with me. It's me. It's me. Keep it real with me. What's the best part of the poly? Um best part of poly relationship is the best part of it. Them threesomes. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> 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 it's a fucking. Yeah, I am about to start with you because you're gonna have me in. Okay, all right. I'm. I don't. I don't, I don't want you to go home and get beat up. Um, I, never that. They, it's understandable. I just ain't promoted it. You ain't seen me put promoted on Instagram. You ain't seen me. Oh. Ain't nobody seen me. Oh, watch this. You ain't seen me. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't seen me really go there. Like you know what I mean, but. It's it's a vibe. I'm just gonna say it like that. All the time. It's, a, it's a vibe all the time. I'm talking about every day. No day is like a, a boring day for us. So who decides who's gonna make breakfast? Um, 
it's no decisions. It's just women that's in the same household doing their job for the, the, the they man and the kids. You know what I'm saying? Y'all all under one roof? Definitely. California King Bet? Definitely. So do they sleep? Are you you little spoon, big spoon? I'm always in the middle sometimes. How you lay though? Show me. I lay like like this. You ever grab one head and go down? Facts. Okay, do you look over at her like wake up or do you I let look, the other I look sleep? at her like get on my face. Oh, one yeah. on the face, one on the See, waist? I ain't going to even start with you. That's the only thing that you're going to get. That's the that's the only thing that you're going to get. I like it. <laughs> that's that's the only thing that you're going to get. So so like how did you convince them to like to join? What type of dick you dropping? It's because you're rich. Nah, I ain't got nothing. I ain't doing too much. They are one of them, your baby mama? Yeah. Both of them? Yeah. Oh, my God. You done convinced two old baby mamas to come back and they ain't together. Old. They been there. Oh, you? How long you been in this relationship? I got kids. I got kids by them. Three with one and one with the other. But it didn't start off like this. Like no, nah, no. Nah, it, it, it didn't start like that. And then... um. Um, it wasn't, it was just me like pretty much like, I want both being, of them. Nah, not wanting both of them, just me like not being honest with the whole situation and then me totally being honest. Just, you know, as a man, mm -hmm. you make mistakes and then you, you gotta take, at some point in time in life, you gotta take accountability. So the main thing was me taking accountability, but the main thing is about the women that actually love you for you. You know what I'm saying? And I have two soldiers that actually love me for me. Soldiers. And they respected it. It was like, okay, well, one was like, I'm not going. And one was like, I'm not going either. So I was like, shit, it is what it is. Mm. And we, they put their pride to the side and made it work. It was nothing about me. They the, they the real heroes in the situation. So I can't sit up here. You know, some niggas will sit up here and be bragging like, oh, I did that. Yeah. I didn't do nothing. They did everything. I like how you talk about them heroes. Soldiers. They heroes, they heroes in my life. <laughs> Anybody that tell you that's in my life, I understand. Like, they heroes in my life. <laughs> they the ones. They not the twos. Heroes, soldiers. <laughs> they soldiers. They gangsters. the ones. Yeah, they my gangsters. They my everyday. Gangsters. Yeah. It ain't a dull moment. It I fuck with it. Yeah, it's 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 a Gemini one. It's a Leo. It's a Leo. Oh, you got you a Leo. Of course. Oh, okay. So you. Hey, yeah, yeah. but you a Leo too, right? Definitely. How does that work? <laughs> you know how it works. A Leo and a Leo? Do you know what you be on? I'm sent from heaven. No, no, no. Do you know what you be on? Yeah, I'm like... Have you ever dealt with another Leo? Yes. How was it? Never again. Spontaneous. Oh, it was toxic? No, see, this is spontaneous. The, the Leo guys that I have dated, um, they've been very... I mean... It, you know me. You know how, like, I'm just kind of calm, unbothered. I'm calm? really like, I am calm. I get mad. Oh, I get mad. You. But I be chilling. You be chilling. I be chilling. But a lot of men that I've, like, dated, they mistake me chilling for not being interested. Yeah. So it's like. So that, that can be a thing with women. Women don't know how to be on the same. I mean, women, like, Leo women are, like, cool. And sometimes niggas want you to be like, damn, do you really fuck with me or not? Mm -hmm. That's because you got so many chasing you. Mm -hmm. And then you famous now. You Gina Views. I am Gina Views. I don't know. You Gina <laughs> Views. You Gina Views. So, I mean, at the end of the day, a nigga ain't going to know how to deal with that. And, no. and not to say it like that, but to say it like that, you on some boss shit too. So Thank you. A lot of niggas ain't going to know how to accept that. An yeah. Another another Leo man ain't going to know how to mm -hmm. accept that. I've actually haven't figured out how to um show my affection. So it's either I'm going to be like You're not affectionate? I am affectionate, but I'm like I think like I'm, I'm clingy. Though. Yeah, but I, so I'm self-conscious. You only clingy when you the condom come off. I'm not a bearbacker. You you don't bearback? No. Never. So that pulley ain't when it's out. Yeah, that pulley ain't when it's out. Yeah, you. my baby daddy. Okay. And then you love him. That's why you put him on the TVs. <laughs> I don't like how you saying my baby daddy got a pullback. I don't know your baby daddy. So <laughs> we just say pullback. Yeah, I'm not big up. You know what I'm saying? We just say pullback because that's just the squad, the crew. We don't even be having that. I no, fuck with it. Yeah, like we just say pulley. Like, you know what I'm saying? All the bitches be like, y'all got pulley. We're going with it for months and months and months yeah, and months. Yeah. This shit's just funny and have people laughing. We just big clowns. My crew is just big. Uh, you clowns. trimmed? Of course. 
It's just a whole fashion question. Yeah, I don't have no just clue. We, just because we're I'm talking about it. Mafia. Okay, yeah, he threw it up too. I Y'all threw seen him? <laughs> Shout out to this JJ. <laughs> Shout out to JJ, my little brother, PBM. <laughs> no, but um, he he humping. Stop, bro. He, he done brought the pig it's out. Back. Yeah, he trying to get it broken. I um, I believe so. I've been reading this book called "Why Do Men Love Bitches." Mm-hmm. So she told me, like, I'm saying it like she was talking to me directly, but she was just like, "Slow down." Like, you know, don't give them too much. Be a chase a little bit, you know? So I've been trying to find the balance in between because it's either I'm clingy or I'm off you. Wait, 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 wait. So a book told you to slow down. A book told me to slow down. Who wrote that? A bitch in jail? It's a white woman. Man, she ain't getting no pulley. <laughs> she, she, bitch thirsty she might for... know something. No, man. She might know something. You know, I, who am I? I've never been in a relationship. So I can't. That's who, a problem, G. Who, who am I? After I, all this shit, huh. you gonna want some companionship, and you ain't gonna want no companionship. You a Leo, so you gonna. Well, you I like de- to you, fuck. You deal with all old shit though. Yes. You don't want nothing new because you're afraid of new. So you gonna start off with all old shit. You gonna call some shit three years ago if you see some shit available. Hey, what you doing? Oh, I was just thinking about you. Let's go. Yeah, put on the dinner. yeah. Because yeah. who want to catch new bodies? I understand that. I don't want to catch no new bodies. So yeah, I I I'd rather spin the block than hit the you know than the block is hot. Uh, yeah. Might the block could be burning. The block could be the block could the have block a gang of fire. fans on it. It's the fire, man. The fire. The block could have a lot of fans on it. <laughs> you know. Um, so I have this one question that I've been wanting to ask you for, cause I've been wanting to interview you for years. Oh my God. Let me see. Let and me I have see. this one question. It's a rap question. Don't get nervous. Oh, I'll oh. never get nervous. You see, I, I feel like you got a little nervous. You got your hand in your pocket. You got a gun on you? Never. Oh, okay. I for mm-hmm. sure got a gun on me everywhere I go. I, I heard that. Before we go to church. Yeah. All right. That motherfucker on me. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. This is my phone though. You ready to pull out on the devil. Ready to pull that pull back up. Uh. <laughs> Bringing up a pullback while we talking about church is crazy. That's yeah, crazy, <laughs> but that's God. Yeah, God gave God. God yeah. gave niggas God pulleys. delivered. Is it? Whoa! Is it a sin to cut off your cut the pull? Because they say it's a, it's a sin to dye your hair. It's a sin to get you know get work done. It's a sin to attach your body. Is it a sin to cut off that extra meat if God gave it to you? If God gave it to you, you got to keep it. I'm potting right now. My mama didn't keep mine, so I'm a sinner. <laughs> um. No, but so I've been trying to figure out where did my introduction from Tory Lanez come from, and I remember um, Fresh Out, yeah, your song yeah. Fresh Out, come and on. then YG has um, got together, we broke we, up and got together. So look, she got me thinking when we this is true facts, right? What's the name of that song? This is true facts. Me and my brother Jizzle, right? We had Tory Lanez in the studio at the same time. So we recorded that song. I'm thirsty. So I dropped my album a week before Jizzle dropped this album, two weeks before. But I think I recorded my song, my stu- my song and, and Jizzle session. I think we was all at the club. In the same session? I promise you. I think we was all at the club, me, him, Mustard, Ty. I think we all left and went to the studio. And I think niggas was- On the set. Yeah. So I think I went in the studio and niggas wasn't doing nothing in the studio. Yeah. And I'm like, me and Tory Lanez caught a vibe. Ty did the beat, and I think I did mine. And I think Jizzle did his, like, the next, like either the same night or the next day or some shit like that. Uh-huh. That's yeah. how we used to work, though. One of y'all's released January 3rd, 2013, and the other one released, I think, January 8th or January 10th, 2013. Something like that. Both of y'all dropped projects basically the same, the same time. time. The same time. And both of y'all had Tory Lanez on them. And I remember, I remember those songs being a smash. Like, wait, wait, wait. Not only did that song become a smash, nigga, I'm for BP. Nigga, I'm a gangbanger. Y'all took over that that whole year. I'm a gangbanger. Give a nigga, fuck I'm about rapping. B, B, see that song. Yeah. All that shit was at the same time. Yeah, yeah. We was on bullshit back then. Yeah. Me and Jizzle. Mustard YG. Then was like the funnest times where we didn't actually know what the fuck we was doing. We just was having fun in studio sessions. I think he came to my studio session and did fucking uh, that pussy wet, huh? I got next, huh? We was going back and forth in each other's studio session. Do you think that like, just hear me out real quick, because I've said this to a couple of people when they looked at me like I was crazy. But do you think that there's like a, a universe that exists where we can see Joe Moses... YG, 
um, Neftaferro, Problem, D-Lo, RJ, the, all the pushes mm -hmm. on one reunion tour. I'm with that. I want to see Joe Moses, YG, <laughs> Dom Kennedy, mm -hmm. RJ, Tiger, mm -hmm. Ty Dolla Sign, DJ Mustard. Um, DJ Goofy, Vision, DJ Vision, Wiz Kid, Wiz Kid. Let me host it. Uh, AD, yes. AV, yes. Um, Ty Dolla Sign, I, Ty Dolla Sign, Tiger, Problem. Yeah, I would definitely love to see us all on one tour. Oh. Dom Kennedy, I would definitely love to see us all on one tour. I always bring that up. They're my brothers. Win, lose, or draw, and then my brothers. Like, I got memories with them niggas. I got memories. Genesis. Like, Ooh. I want to see all us on a tour together and just having fun going to city to city, 50, 50 states. And yeah. I wouldn't give a fuck what the pay would be just to go on just tour to with them niggas it. and just to do it. Even if y'all at the farm or a staple center or something you, like that. You're like, for me. I go on that motherfucker free. Yeah. I wouldn't give a fuck about no money. Just to enjoy that time with my brothers again. Let's toast to that because I said yeah. that. Let's a lot of, I mean, a lot of people gonna be like, "What the money gonna be for me?" Yeah, the money ain't even nothing. I feel like that though. That's something that we need um, culturally, like just on some like, cause y'all, you guys represent an era that we probably will never get back. Facts. Like, I mean, y'all was in the clubs. Yeah. The shit, the music was going so freaking crazy. It's yeah. literally like timeless music. Yeah. And like, no disrespect to none of y'all, but the music y'all was putting out back then, I fucking love it way more than the shit that we got right now. I'm going to keep it G with you. I think a lot of us changed up because the fans changed up. You what know do what you saying? mean? So it's like Joe Moses. As the older we get, the more money we make. Like, I may I do it for the Ratchets. The fans was like, all you make is ratchet music. Mm. And it got me to thinking to myself, like, damn, bro, like, let me start switching up and doing different shit. Even though I can out rap a lot of niggas, pure point blank. Yeah. I can really rap. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can battle rap. I can make songs. I can make anything. I'm glad you said that because I got a big anniversary cipher that I want you on. I'm coming. But you got to take Khadija too. Okay. All right. My artist Khadija. Oh, no, no, no. I got an anniversary list. That you want? Yes. Okay, for sure. I have an anniversary list. So next year will actually be the 10 year of G Expo Cyphers. I'm on there. That's a crazy list, right? Look at Casey Veggies, my brother. Ah! Casey. <laughs> it's a little bro, too, man. <laughs> um, hey, I, not to even say that, speaking on that name right there. Yeah. I remember one of my shows, I think it was 2008, 2009, or some shit like that. 2010, I had a show at that club on Sunset before we had the observatories and all that shit. Mm -hmm. What was the show? What was the shit on Sunset? It was like some Secret shit. Secret Sundays? No, it was a big old where niggas used to have a playhouse. No, all the way down on Sunset, going back towards Beverly Hills, right there. Mm, mm -hmm. They made it to something else. Mm -hmm. But we used to have concerts and shit there. And I remember I got a, a, a tweet from Casey Veggies. Damn, that nigga Joe Moses packed this motherfucker out. It's like 800 people in this bitch. I remember that shit. That was I a remember time. that shit touched my, like, like, and I was like, who the fuck is Casey Veggies? Yeah. And then I went, I'm like, damn, that's the bro. Yeah. And he became who he was, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it, it, those was the times, and those was those was the fun days because we actually like was having fun supporting each other. It wasn't about the money. It wasn't about none of that shit. It was like we just out here having fun. So Do I want to get back to those times. Am I um, correct in saying that you guys' era is what brought the West back? Mm -hmm. Any nigga that say me, any nigga that say first and foremost before I even include myself, Jizzle. YG and yeah. niggas don't give him the props that he deserves. Oh, I, I got always, dragged on Twitter for saying that YG been carrying this for the past few decades. I'ma say it. I'ma say it myself. It was Jizzle and Joe Moses first and foremost. Yeah. Let's let's keep it one hundred. Yeah. Then everybody else, you know what I'm saying, became who they was off of the music that we was creating. Ty Dolla Sign, Joe Moses, YG, DJ Mustard, 400, AOB, AV. Those was the niggas that I know. Mm-hmm. 
Nip always had his o- o- other thing over here. You know what I'm saying? He always was doing his thing. G Malone was over here. J-Rock was over here. Tiger was over here. Mm-hmm. But the music that we making wasn't nobody making that type of music. Let's yeah. just keep it 100. Yeah. And Ty Dolla's sign was on all the production. So that's why the beats sounded crazy and similar. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my brother Jacasa was on production. Mm-hmm. Them niggas wasn't fucking with us. Like, period, point blank. It was Jizzle. And it was Joe Moses. Mm-hmm. If you say anybody else, they came behind us. And I spit facts. Anybody telling me something different, they know. They can pull up and we can talk about it. But niggas don't want to really talk about it because niggas don't want to really talk about it. Yeah. That's just facts. Jizzle nigga went to Def Jam. Nigga got to deal with Def Jam. Tune in the booty and the go bitch was the biggest songs of that era. Mm-hmm. And then Cali Swag District had Teach Me How to Dougie. Mm, oh. Niggas forget about Cali Swag. Rest yes. in peace to all my little bros. Yeah. Um, you know what I wanted to know? Because like I said, I was going through your catalog earlier. Um, in 2018, you dropped a... You rapped over the Mr. Good Doe intr- instrumental. Yeah. Why did you decide to do that so late? I love that beat. Okay. I love the beat. It was just about the beat. Do you and Draco, did y'all have a relationship? We had a relationship. We definitely had a relationship. And, um, you know, shit was fuzzy after the whole yeah, the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She was a little bit fuzzy, but you know what I mean? Like, the way shit transpired was like, niggas had careers definitely ahead of themselves. So, at the end of the day, it's like, it's a lot of shit that I get on camera and I don't even like to speak on because it's like... yeah. It's fucked up situations on all both sides. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We lost people on all both sides, so. Yeah. It, it, it get tricky. Um, LA is tricky, and sometimes, like, getting on here, I know what I signed up for. So I know what I was in the hood. I can't come up here and say everything because I am a nigga. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And me saying everything, it, it ain't going to, like, it's still niggas in the hood. I'm not in the hood every day, but right. I got young niggas that's in the hood every day that look up to me, that love me. So me speaking on shit that, uh, have them niggas in 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 jeopardy or having outside niggas in jeopardy or creating a beef is not what I want to entertain no more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes I just keep my words to myself. And the internet is undefeated. Whatever yeah. I come up here and say that's the truth, niggas gonna be thinking I'm speaking on some shit that I got no business speaking on. Mm-hmm. So it's like why even entertain that shit when it's like it's a fucked up situation on everybody. I understand what you're saying because I do too. Try to stay away from Them certain subjects. Certain you try stuff, to stay. Yeah. I'm a real nigga, and dog, and it's like I'm really in the streets, so it's like. I think that's a that's the part too with like because people will criticize me for not wanting to speak on certain shit, and one of my things is I'm too close to everything going on. Like both how we sides. said, we don't have conversations and stuff yeah, like that. Sides. Like I'm really outside with with y'all. Yeah. Like I'm pulling up. Um, you know, yeah. like we we talking, and it'll be stuff that I know. That I can't say on camera. No, that's facts. You know, that we, we just can't talk about it. So when you sign up, I signed up for Game Banger, right? So I signed up for it. Got put on. I signed up for it. I know everything I signed up for. So first thing is no snitching, no talking, no telling. You mm-hmm. can't talk. Whatever I done done in the hood, I can't go back and pillow talk with my baby mama. She get mad at me. She put it on the internet. Oh, I know some shit that this nigga done did. Mm. If that's the certain things that you sign up for in your career as gangbang. And I'm not talking about my career as rapping. When I became a rapper, that's something different. This mm-hmm. is entertainment. But I don't entertain the shit that I've done in my game banging shit. I can get on this camera and say, I'm really a trill nigga. I done been to the pen. I know some buster ass niggas that ain't never did nothing. I know half these rappers is marked. Well, for what reason to say all that? Yeah. I'm not trying to take money out of nobody's pockets because I know beefing with me is going to be a lot. I and heard that. Be, and it's going to be a lot beefing with me. Yeah. But who wants to be tough on camera? Yeah. We had that life already. That life was bullshit. I love the hood. Don't never get it fucked up. Mm-hmm. They, I never take nothing away from the section. The section made me who I am today. But I'm a grown ass man, and this shit that 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 went on that I'm like over the years. It's like it doesn't make any sense to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Being from VNG, I love it though. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I would never take nothing away from it. I would never choose a whole different life of lifestyle. When people were like, would you choose? I would choose the same lifestyle because the shit I went through as a man, it made me who I am today. Mm-hmm. My reputation made me who I am today. The homies in the hood made me who I am today. Yeah. Nigga, I come from a hood. We ain't deep. We about, we ain't deep at all. 
know what I'm saying? It's a couple of us, but the couple of soldiers that we do got, we gangsters. We on some gangster shit. And the niggas that did raise me, we on some gangster shit. And win, lose, or draw, it don't matter if the hood, like, it don't matter if the hood hate me. It don't matter if the hood don't love me no more. I'm still from this hood. I can't choose nowhere else. See, this new generation to be like, oh, the hood don't like me. They 6'9". And the hood don't like me. I'm going to tell on the whole hood, bitch. Mm -hmm. You know, you and YG, y'all introduced us to yeah. um, to Tory Lanez. But Definitely. you also introduced us to DJ Official. <laughs> well, my brother. You got to speak on it. Rest in peace, DJ Official. Um, I feel like he was somebody that made a huge impact in West Coast culture. I feel like he made a huge impact in my life period. He changed my life. So mm -hmm. that shit is like, that shit like hit me in the chest when you just said his name right now. Yeah. It's like, you know, but I get cracking for my niggas. So, you know, the niggas know what's up. So, you know what I'm saying? DJ Official know what's up. He looking down at me like. <laughs> DJ Official is my second, my third ever interview, like in life. Yeah. Him and Panda. I had them on together. This is when I this Gina, this GX for TV when I had the the background with all the pictures, and, all the pictures and stuff behind me. And you talking about a kid that just wanted to make it, man? Yeah. Like DJ Official was like a DJ Quick losing fucking a Mossberg mm. to me. Mm -hmm. I felt like my sound was like it's always gonna be me and DJ Official. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got Mustard and YG. Yeah. You got, you know what I'm saying? Really, Joe Moses and Ty Dolla Sign, but you got Joe Moses, Ty Dolla Sign, and DJ Official. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, for me, it's like, it get emotional where it's like, shit, that's little bro. And, I, you know, I slide for shit. Like, uh, man, I'm going to go to prison behind some shit that happened to little bro, like, for real, for real. So, it's like, I don't even like talking about it. I get yeah, emotional yeah. behind shit, like, DJ official, he he the guy. He the yeah. nigga, not only my DJ. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was young, man. We just didn't know. I'm not going to say we just didn't know. I didn't know what the fuck I had going on. Mm. I was so caught up in street shit, I didn't know what the fuck I had going on. I didn't know I had the next motherfucking DJ Quick, Dr. Dre, in my yeah. motherfucking right corner. Like, I didn't know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? I just was... Fucking in the streets, paying attention to all street shit. We beefing with niggas. We going to war with niggas. There's all type of shit going on. And I'm making music at the same time. Mm -hmm. And as I'm making music at the same time, I got a little bro that's really trying to get out that's focused on strictly for this. But he's sending me packs and I'm doing beats. And I'm dropping mixtapes. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And Gazi just taking the mixtapes and putting it on motherfucking Apple Music. And I'm like, shit. Then we start getting checks and checks behind that shit. Then my little bro died. I didn't have no business established at that point in time in life. Like, you know what I'm saying? So for me, DJ Official was like everything to me. If I had DJ Official at this point in life, he'd be running one of these businesses, a store or a company that he he deserved. Yeah. I didn't know at that point in time. And it's a lot of niggas that was around me that I didn't know. We was just living L.A. life. Like, when you get caught up in L.A. life with a little bit of fame and you making money, it's like, it's hard to turn yourself to doing something else. Like, it's like, L.A. will have you in that moment where it's like keeping up with the Joneses, where it's like, oh, I'm getting money. I want to go get cars. I want to go get jewelry. I want to go fuck hoes. I want to go do that. I want to go do that. We ain't even focused on. We just gang banging and having fun. It's just a, it's a cycle. Mm-hmm. And that's what cycle I was in. But I didn't know exactly what I had next to me mm -hmm. at that point in time. But I love Lil Bro. You know what I'm saying? I talked to his, um, the mother of his kid, his girl. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then she told me, she gave me all respect. Like, whatever you want to do with some of DJ official beats, because I still got some. You already know, bro. You could do whatever you want to do. So, I mean, family loved me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, was, I was there. You know what I mean? I ain't. All right, well, it's some index cards next to you. So we're going to get into our whole fashion questions. Whole fashion. These are the whole fashion questions. Okay, this is the whole fashion. But I did want to ask you before we get into these whole, question, whole fashion questions. I'm drunk. Um, you said you had a Leo and a Gemini. Yeah. Who your favorite? Mm, the mouse. Okay. What zodiac is that? Both. <laughs> <laughs>
If you don't want to answer, you got to take a shot of Hennessy. Now let's do it. All right. All right. What's your porn category? Porn? Yeah. Oh, on the hood, it'd be like um, milfs. Okay, old bitches. Milfs, yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever experienced? Ever experienced doing sex? Oh. <laughs> Take a shot. <laughs> um, I farted before. Oh, so so you farted or you queefed? My vagina farted. Okay, so that's a queef. But thing. I had never. This is the first and only time it's ever happened, sure. and it was like a like it was like a band playing. So it was like it was like brum bum. Oh, it was brum dum. <laughs> <laughs> and then I couldn't control it, so I'm like holding my vagina. Like I moved them, and I'm like holding it. And like, it's still farting though. Yeah, it was air in there. It was that's all it is. A little bit of air. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. And I was young too. I didn't really know what like a little bit of air. There ain't it. no. There ain't no thing. It didn't yeah. stink with it. So no, 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 no. Okay, no. so you good? Okay. Um, what food have you used in bed? Used in and bed. And which was your favorite? Damn. Is honey considered as a food? You had honey in bed? Yeah. Honey? Put that on that pearl tongue. Honey? Get the lick. Honey is thick. Yeah, I licked that thick shit out. So you were sucking hard? I, tuh. Ooh! Suck the pearl tongue, though. Don't say sucking like that. I don't like that with women. You suck like no. A nigga, you gotta suck my pussy. Like I need Yeah but say it like that I Suck like, it say, like, say it like that When a girl say Suck my puss That sound like But when you just say Suck like that sound uh, like I'm picking up What you putting pause. it down Niggas gotta suck Cause it's like I, I don't have like The licking be cool But I need you like I need that pressure on yeah. there Like pull like, that motherfucker out Like the vacuum Yeah So like when you go Eat oysters And you suck the oyster out Yeah Yeah okay Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like that like that right. Go ahead Alright Describe your best orgasm You ever had <sighs> You fought it again. That's crazy. <laughs> I I, I want to say the first time I so I didn't I didn't know how to come until I was probably like twenty three, mm-hmm. twenty two or something like that. And I didn't know that I needed to be on top, right, and getting my nipples licked. Like that's literally the only way I could come. Wow! So it happened, and that's I'm like crazy though. Yeah, that's 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 a bar. <laughs> I'm literally on top and I'm fucking it up because I be I be fucking it up. I'm like fucking it up. Little booties matter. Yeah, you know, little coochie, <laughs> little body. So he like licking my nipples and stuff, whatever. And then I came and I had never come before, so I didn't I didn't know that there was like other levels of sex. If so that makes sense. So not to cut you off, did you sit in the corner and you put the cover on you? You just was looking at him like this, like. Like afterwards? Like what did you do? I was just like, what was that? Like Oh God. It's like what what did I just experience? Like I had felt you know how they say like you're becoming a woman, you get your period. Like I felt like, oh shit, I'm a woman now. Yeah. Like I just can't I had real sex type mm-hmm. shit. But like this was somebody I had already been fucking. Like I had names tatted on me and all the time. He was looking at my nipples. nipples. It was the nipples. It was the nipples for sure. So now I know like when I'm getting hit, I need my nipples licked. Ooh. And then we both got to be bare. Bare, what you mean? It's something about that skin to skin contact. Yeah. I thought you didn't go bare back. No, bare, I mean no hair. Oh, okay. Like, we both got to be bald. Oh, bald, bald. I didn't mean to say bare, bald. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's bald. like, it's both like, it's something. Y'all know, y'all picking on to put it down? Y'all niggas be shaving? Fuck no. Y'all niggas wax? Oh, you don't wax? No, you're nigga. Oh, no. If any of your niggas going to wax, they um, going <laughs> Pulling the dick out on the wax table is crazy. Hey, they like, <laughs> they belong out here. <laughs> <laughs> they like low-key porn stars. And the nigga just shaving his shit. Just like, either he a dancer, he's trying to pull it down for a video or some... Bro, I'm not getting this shit shaved. What the fuck is y'all talking about? Okay. This motherfucker gonna look like a little afro. <laughs> Wild, crazy, loud, or quiet, deep, moody sex. See, it's it, see. I'm a, I like both, right? <laughs> so if you if you if you loud, I'm gonna come faster. Mm. If you too loud, you uh, uh, make it seem like my shit like a 22 inch. Yeah. Then I'm gonna blow off like a rocket. How many inches is it? 
I ain't talking about all that. You, you said twenty. So I was, I was, I was, because you picked you you pick that, that number. If you that motherfucker, you go, uh, 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 and you loud, that motherfucker gonna blow up. Ah, oh, okay, okay. But if you quiet, nah, see. It, it so if you quiet, it'll psych- last no, longer? No, no, no. But it goes psychological, too. If you quiet, too, that it, like that can be like that pullback ain't nothing. But if you give me facial expression with the moans and the loudness, yeah. it's going to go off. So my last situation, he came kind of quick. Ain't nothing wrong with that though. But I was la- I was singing. You were singing? Yeah, like that like Aaliyah just rocked blew it up. Off. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm like a yellow lady. Yeah, like <laughs> rock the yeah. boat. The neighbors gonna know my name. Oh yeah. So that means he was doing his thing. <laughs> that means he was yeah. doing his thing. Yeah. All right, for sure. I mean, I, I, I I'm a performer too, though. Okay, so you're an actor. If it's bad, I'm still gonna perform because I need you to get better no, while we fucking. No, 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 no. My shit bad. Just like look at me with the still face. <laughs> if you acting like my shit, that's good, not fun. If you acting like my shit good, I'm gonna take that on in my next relationship where we fuck up. Like <laughs> I was putting in work over here with Gina. <laughs> She's gonna be like, well, this shit trash. Gina lied. I'm like, damn, treat Gina didn't set me up for the big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but that's cool though. Because sometimes I look at bitches who had like my booth dick. <laughs> and I be, <laughs> I be like, ah, his dick little. Ah, like, bitch, that, bitch, you not doing good. Like you really down bad. In, re- you- in reality, not saying it like that, a woman, you ain't supposed to be taking all that. Taking what you wanted, like until you get married. What are you saying right now? You, you gotta really save yourself. You, know, you taking dick this big, and then by the time you marry, you got a husband that shit this big, and then he gonna oh. be like, "What is he gonna do?" So you done played yourself already. Like, yeah, girls be fucking from eighteen dicks this big, and then they gonna want to get married at thirty four yeah. and then shit like this, and then they gonna be like, "I don't." Then, but I don't think husband dick is supposed to be good. Wait, what? It's husband. It's re- relationship. Husband pussy is supposed to be good. If I'm settling down, this shit is like tight. Well, like pussy booty. is subjective because it's walls. <laughs> <laughs> pussy tight is like, walls. Tight like butt is not a thing. <laughs> yeah, you can get a little pussy. Yeah. A little vagina, like it's all walls, right? Yeah. So I, I honestly, I have never. I don't understand how a pussy could be trash. Because it's it's walls and it's moisture, so I no. feel like all pussy is the same. Have you ever go outside your? I ain't ever fucked a bitch. No, but. go outside of your shit right now and throw a hot dog down these walls right here. Uh huh. And see how I just go and just. I w- I don't even got hot dogs on my grocery I'm list. Just saying, throw a hot leg. No, it, it doesn't hug it. Come on, you understand? I'm not picking up what you putting down. Go though, just I want you to go outside and make an example. We're gonna put this on a just throw a hot dog and that motherfucker's just gonna be hollow. Like So what you're saying is all pussy's not the same? All pussy's not the same. Like if you got some big walls. Bitches walls be big? What the fuck? You can jump in that motherfucker and like literally put your elbow in that bitch. What? Yeah, it's n- true. Wait, wait, because it's stretched or because that's how it came. Because it stretches. Oh, so by the time you marry a nigga and you in love and he got a little pulley and like he ain't getting off the way he's supposed to be getting off, like that shit is not exciting. You gonna not, that shit ain't gonna last. So I have a philosophy, and it could be off. Yeah, I could be hundred percent wrong tell about me, what me. I'm finna say right now. Tell me, but I feel like big dicks, they fuck a lot, and they want to show off their dick. Mm. Relationship dicks. They are made for a relationship. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you know the difference from relationship dick and we just fucking dick. Because we just fucking dick don't really want to settle down because he want to show that dick off. But relationship oh. dick, relationship dick is a little different because relationship dick can't really show his dick off because it's a relationship dick. I don't know. I think women in this new day and era are the niggas and men are the women. Yeah. I think... I think women like to be in charge. I think women are thinking they're getting back. And I think, like, some women are going about it the wrong way. Getting back as far as what? As far as, like, you think you can do everything a nigga can do. Mm, Well, we know we got some shit in our drawers that can do what the niggas can do. That's cap. Why is it cap? I got a dick in my drawer right now. It's... I'm... (laughs) 
I'm I'm put oh my phone. Oh my phone died. Charge my phone. Cause I got a, a, a woo, I don't have that. I'm cutting date? this part out. <laughs> you got a date? No, I don't have a date. I love my man that's in another state. He in another state? But if I'm cutting this part out. Wait, 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 wait. What? No, she ain't cutting this part out. <laughs> I want a question that's not a question. Have you ever came off a of dry humping? Hump scissoring? Yeah, you never came off of that. No, no. I've been dis I've been disappointed by big dicks before, because I only can come one way. Like I, your nipples, get your nipples sucked. Yeah, like that's literally it. Like I come in the grocery store for niggas sucking my nipples. Like that's literally like that's it. Woo! Right there, just woo! Like that just do it for me right there, right? So it's been times where like I done had like a, a massive, like massive meat. Massive meat. And it's like I'm just not coming. Like you're not doing it for me. And it's just uh, I need you to lick my nipples. I need to get on top and I need to ride that motherfucker. And what you ask me? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm have drunk. you ever came off a of dry humping? Oh, no. So a nigga wasn't, well, like, you wasn't all dry that. humping and a nigga wasn't licking your nipples and you came like, oh my God. I, I fucked a gummy before. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have a little vagina. So for whatever reason, when I'm having sex, like the niggas just come in two minutes. Like it's just, whoo, just stick it in. Oh, they come, right? So I've had to keep humping. So now I'm scissoring a gummy. I'm scissoring a gummy. I really can't like, but I like you licking. My, I'm cutting all this out. So I'm, but we having a conversation. But I'm like, you licking it in this gummy, and it's like I'm scissoring now. Okay. You get them. You picking the one to put it down. I feel whatever you said. Pause. <laughs> 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 Okay, next question. Go ahead. I forgot we had these. What do you think these. about when you masturbate when you're not watching porn? Um, so Kalani and Tiana Taylor have a music video. Um, a video. Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, them bitches look good. Oh, good. Ooh. You know what that remind me of? What? My wives. Okay. A light in the dark. Okay. Oh, I oh, you got to you got a, a vanilla and a brown skin? For sure. Oh, okay. Who your favorite? Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. He both. ain't doing it. <laughs> said, both. I love you both. Both of them. Send me this, too. I love you both. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so I'll think about that. Um. My, well, I know you didn't ask me my porn category, but I have to watch bitches eating bitches out. And they have to be black. And they got to be like, they got to look like me, though. Wait, with braids? <laughs> yeah. If if the bitches got braids and they Leos and they like got baby hair and like all that. <laughs> I'ma watch it. I'ma watch it. I got one video that I actually keep going to. In Pornhub. Um, X videos. X. Trip, what is that? Triple X. X X X X X. Yeah. And I just type in Ebony eating pussy. And do then, you go do you go to um what's that other shit that uh well, everybody got in they 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 fucking Twitter and they um. They, oh, the Twitter likes no, the Twitter what, favorites. What everybody got in they they Instagram the um. Threads, Threads? close no, friends. No, what's the other shit that everybody got in they bio and they? Oh, uh, OnlyFans. Friends. Do you go to OnlyFans? I'm not buying a. I'm not paying for pussy. Like that's out. Wow. Yeah, no, that's out. So if I take you to eat, that's paying for pussy. You gonna take me to eat some pussy? If if I take you to eat right now and then you bring me to your house, that's paying for pussy. No, that's a date. But on our end, that's paying for pussy. No, that means I decided to fuck you. That means you wanted this pullback the whole night. Okay. And I wanted that. Yeah, because, I mean, sometimes you might be out, out with a nigga and the vibe just might be there. Oh, no. Have you ever had that? Where the vibe is just all the way there? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I didn't fuck him, though. <laughs> Sometimes the vibe be there, but then you gotta think about it. Like, do I want to add another body to my collection? No, I don't. You get what and I'm Roland's saying? just looking at you in the corner, or Brim. Roland's gonna go to his room. Brim is gonna look at you in the corner. Sometimes he be there when I masturbate. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? I really think he's somebody I know. 
Because they say that, like, you know, Dawson come back in yeah, reincarnation. For sure, for sure. I believe in that. Yeah. So, I, this was so crazy. I open my drawer, and he know what time it is. Like, he go get his pig. <laughs> oh, so when he get cracking, your baby get cracking. <laughs> That's what type of influence you teach it. <laughs> he a nasty nigga. He used to be in a room with me. His daddy used to get it cracking. So, I don't, I don't, like, he came out humping. The day I, I have a video of him, the day his daddy handed him to me, I put him on the floor and he's humping my foot. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I mean. You love his daddy. You done said his daddy name about six times. I fuck with him. That's the love of my life. Oh, tell him right now. Tell him Tell him in your camera right now that he the love of you. Mm, I got a new nigga. No, 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 no. I got a new nigga. And don't take this out. I'm taking it out. I got a new nigga who I really like. You like? I like him. Why? Okay, this gonna sound stupid. You put him in here. Um, this is the reason why I like him because he have a last name that I be lying telling people is my last name, right? And I didn't know him when I was telling people this was my last name. So I'm like, oh shit, his government last name is the name that I be lying saying is my last name. Moses. <laughs> 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 oh, that was good. Get off my leg. He horny as a bitch. He's so horny. He never had sex before. I saw you depriving my nigga. Go take my nigga around. No, him. every girl Yorkie is fixed. Every girl Yorkie that I know. But he still can get some pull. Some. He don't like the vacuum. Can somebody hit the um, power button on it? Because Rolling gonna really get mad. Brim. Brim is gonna really get mad. Mm -hmm. What does pussy taste like to you? Um, water. Okay. Strawberry water. Strawberry water. Mm -hmm. So it's flavored. Mine's is Aquafina or like uh, Aquafina cheap. Okay, is it giving like Voss? Maybe. Okay. Okay. Good pussy don't taste like nothing though. What let's about let's Fiji? be clear. You say it's just skin. It tastes like to. Cause I've always wanted to lick my pussy to see what it tastes like. Wow! But I'm not flexible. You right? like a homosexual? I love myself. I've laid. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> You've laid right here and did what? You, do y'all hear this? I'm trying to sell these couches. Wait. <laughs> All right, this this gonna sound crazy, but I for sure looked up at my picture and been like, like masturbated to myself. You was borny like that. I just be needing a little something to like. Wait, wait, wait. So you looked at yourself. You didn't look at nobody <laughs> else. <laughs> wow, I was taking the blasters off. <laughs> Gina Views just said she looked at herself and played with herself. That's crazy. As okay, fun. not this picture. The one in the bathroom. Okay. These <laughs> some fire pictures though. I ain't thank you, I, thank yeah. you. So you see, you picking the one I'm putting it down? You see why I did it. Yeah, Gina. Yeah. I mean, but, but me doing it is crazy. Like, I, so this a man is a, doing it's like, okay, it's understandable. Like, you know how, you know, back in the day where you were like, them niggas were like, send me them, send me them magazines. Yeah. And then niggas, you Melissa Fords and, you know what I'm saying? So I sent this to somebody you, in you jail. Now, you now you like think he sold them? Oh, no, he, he get broken. You think he sold them though? No, he kept them for himself. Okay, okay, okay. You was going to say I'm like a Melissa Ford? Yeah, like you like... I like that. You become Name somebody Name drop me in the song. No, because... But do whole fashions. Don't we, say Gina Views. Yeah, but because we're going to have the same... We got the same friends and they're going to think we... we that we fucking something. around? Yeah. Say whole fashions then. No. You say... We're literally say, talking about it right now. So I can, I can use one this thing clip you got, as Wait, ammo. wait, wait. You know me, right? Yes. So one thing you got to understand about me. You know me, right? Yeah. Do I lie about my pulley? What rhymes with Gina Views? Sure. <laughs> Do I lie about my bully? Uh uh. No, you know me, right? Yeah. Yeah. I might know a little something. No, you don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know nothing. One has to go. Getting head or giving head? I love giving. You're a giver. I'm going to say it again. I'm a, I'm a giver. You eat ass? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. It's right there by the coochie. It ain't that close, though. It's close like this. That's a That's a large gap. Nigga, that's close. So when my t I got a long tongue, you got, so if oh, I'm going from flex there day. and I'm going up, yeah, you can go up. You might slip in that motherfucker. Show me. No. 
If I show you, I gotta show you. Oh, okay. Go to your next question. Oh, okay, yeah. We're yeah. both drunk, huh? Uh, no, I'm not drunk. That's uh, Are you sober? You can drive right now? I'm set I can drive. Say I can it drive on my camera. Way to Texas. Just say it on camera. I can drive to Texas. You I, I got more champagne? Pop that a month ago. We got some champagne. Drunk, I'm loaded. And I love when she gets drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do when you get horny in public? Oh my God. I'm about to say this on camera. Why yeah, would you put this say, on? Let me, let me hear this. Brim, you ready? <laughs> Pop that other champagne, please. If I get horny in public, mm. I go to the bathroom. Let's hear it. And I masturbate. Wow. Cause it's like I can't get rid of it. So you in um, let's say you in penthouse and you horny. So you go to the bathroom, and play with it. I'm not gonna play with it in penthouse. In penthouse though, <laughs> I masturbated like that. Sean, I you hear this, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> the owner of penthouse, you hear this? You got people that go to the bathroom and play. It. Let me get a section, Sean. <laughs> Let me host. <laughs> I've um like I've been at work before, yeah, and I just couldn't get like I couldn't get rid of it, so I like sit on like the heel of my foot. <coughs> <laughs> and do what? Like I like just sit on the heel of my foot and just like kind of move around a little bit. And that's how you get it going. That's how I get rid of it. Okay. You don't, know what I'm talking about? Don't go to prison. What's something that you've done that you uh, wouldn't find favorable that other people wouldn't find favorable? Oh, we got the champagne coming in. <laughs> so something I've done I wouldn't find favorable. Let me see. I really wouldn't. I don't even know. Maybe others would. Ooh. That's crazy. She okay. set me up. So I've, I've, I have said I masturbated on the couch. <laughs> we got the champagne on the couch. The couch is not getting sold. I'm going to just have to put these motherfuckers out with the trash. I wish we could have got that on. Well, I guess we did get it on camera, but like real camera. You want to pour me some? Mm, pour me a little something. I didn't know you. Black girl magic. Black up. girl magic. This is not an ad, but it can be. That's enough. Because I'm already loaded. Okay. And I haven't ate today. Yeah, we could. Thank you. Is your card still readable? Your mm -hmm. last card? Mm-hmm. Have you ever fantasized about someone else while fucking? That's a bar. Um, no, but oh my, have you ever fucked up and said the wrong name? Never, but you fantasize about somebody else when it's getting teared, when it's getting to that point. No, I've I haven't found because I'm I'm super, um, I'm able to focus like on what's in front of me, mm -hmm. but I've like almost fucked up before and said the wrong name for yeah. sure. Like, so what I'll do. Is talk in my head before I talk out loud because okay. I'm a little ditzy at times. Okay, I'm not afraid to admit that that okay. I do a little stupid shit, right? So this is a question that I asked Gina on whole fashions. That's not even a question. Ooh, have you ever like thought about any of Joe Moses' lyrics like that made you like? <laughs> hmm? That was a bar too. <gasps> that was a bar. Was that a bar? Um, is there any lyric that was like, damn, like, I want to see if this nigga, like, not this nigga, but like, I want to see if, like, you or the nigga I'm fucking anybody, like, I want to see, um, like, I've Joe Moses said this, I, I want to, like, no, I fucked to your music before. Mm. That's the bar. I have. Um, how many people a, you think fucked to my music? I think a lot of people have. Do you think women? The shit that I recite, do you think women like me because the shit that I recite? Do you think women want to try me because the shit that I recite? I think that there's a um, big question mark. Whoa. Because, yeah. you know, people probably want to know what it's like. But yeah. I think that that's what any musician who's talking about sexual things. Mm -hmm. That you're just like, dang, what is it like to fuck this person? Or, you know. Yeah. We, we as women, like, we're curious. I don't know. Like, you want to know what a nigga dick look like. So look like or feel like both, um, both of them. Pulley. I mean, or Bonda. I don't look at dicks before they go in. Nobody does. Yeah, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> so you wouldn't know if it was a pulley or a Bonda. I was fucking a pullback for three years and didn't know. He pulled that motherfucker back like. No, we like talked a, about it later on, and he, he was like, that "You know, I got a back, back like an African ponytail, like you know." I, <laughs> But um yeah, I I fucked to your music before, um, unintentionally mm -hmm. on some shuffle shit. Mm. And then I yo pussy wet, huh? 
And and that, that who was fucking like, the night? Who fucking so the night? So that was like some hard shit. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't like no slow. Cause you got to get it cracking at that point. You, <laughs> you know, oh. you got to like at that point you performing. So you ain't never hit the fresh out or baby. I'll be feeling like you owe me something or something like that. Like owe me something. Ooh, I've actually used. So somebody sent a story in before and they reference um, owe me something. Okay. Yeah, this was probably like 2019 when I first started whole fashions. Mm-hmm. Somebody referenced owe me something. And I kind of played off of it lately. I've been feeling like you. We used it for the little promo clip and all of that. So you my friend, right? Yeah. Don't so, say, don't ask me nothing that I'm about to cut out. No, I'm not going to ask you nothing that you cut out. You my friend. So if you've called me on certain shit that I'd be like, no, Gina, that's, I don't even know those people. Mm-hmm. What you finna say, though? <laughs> <laughs> what you think you finna say? Cause I'm, that's I'm, what I'm, I was about to say. I'm a void. I'm skirt. No, that's what I'm saying. So people have called you and said certain shit. And I was like. You call me like Joe, so you just like out here and then yeah. I'm like, I don't even know that person. Yeah. Somebody called you about me? No, never. Never? My name good out here, ain't it? No, I ain't never heard nobody for nothing with your name. No cap. I love that. Mm-hmm. But I am um dropping baby daddy applications. Um, if anybody who do want to call Joe about my name, call him. <laughs> so I'm in the in crowd. I've never heard Gina name for nothing. <laughs> Okay, last question. Mm-hmm. Describe your freakiest fantasy. Like a like a sevensome. Me and about six hoes. Okay, look. So I have two cards here. Yeah. One says spit and one says swallow. I'm not with none of that. <laughs> <laughs> so if you pull the card that says swallow, then you have to let me take your phone and search your phone for the word swallow. However. Wait, wait, what? Yes. Okay. If you select spit, because you know, I'm Gina Views, I make niggas rap. We don't hold fashions, but I make niggas rap, right? Yeah. So if you select spit, then you have to freestyle. Let's do it. Are you sure? Yep. Spit. Bro, but I'm, but I'm okay. Jump on the freestyle. Nisha, Tina, man, like Tina. Oh man, my man, god! Man, 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 man. No, I need that shit that you cooked up in four minutes. I need one. I need one of them. You write for everybody. Yeah. You write for everybody. You're right. Bum, bum. You right. I do write for everybody. Mm-hmm. Look at her. She over here. Look she at ready. me. High. Me hot. Just <laughs> you can just rhyme. Just rhyme whole fashions and Gina views or something. How fashion with Gina Views or yeah. something? Yeah. Hey, last time hey. I was in the session, hey. I had a big dick thing. She was whole fashion. Ooh. That was a bar. Yeah, that was. Yeah. I like that. That was a bar. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was we're gonna just keep it at that. That was That's that, it, that's how you give yeah. it? Yeah. You gonna give me the rest on the Gina But verse. If you if you love me that much and I give you one second of this pullback, you're gonna love me forever. Like if it's you know what I mean? Oh, I'm picking up what you put if it down. If it's just you know what I'm saying, if it's just spontaneous. That was spontaneous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So was that good? That was good. So you accept my ten minutes. I accept your ten minutes because what but I'm only accepting your ten minutes because you agree to the universe. Facts. The cipher. I'm with it. All right. Pull back mafia. <laughs> Bruh mum bum. How do you like that song though? I love it. How do you feel about motherfuckers that be comparisons and they they don't be here for two years, three years? Like, how do you feel like when I'm gonna tell you how I feel before I even ask this? I feel when people question me or question my work or question, let's say YG or RJ. I feel like we're the three that put in the work. Yeah, understand what I'm saying? Dom Kennedy, he put in the work. Mm -hmm. So when you get new niggas that come in and then you put them niggas the top ten list, I'll be like. How you got a top 10? It's supposed to be top 10 of new niggas or, mm-hmm. or longevity. I've been, here, I've been here for the longevity. Mm-hmm. I've been here like the Dr. Dre's and the, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I ain't never said I'm on Dr. Dre level or the DJ Quicks or, you know what I'm saying? Like the Snoop mm-hmm. Dogs. But I, I put in work for in that level where it's like, okay, which I've almost been here for like 10 years. Mm-hmm. You get new niggas that be here for two months. How do you feel about that? Um, are you talking about the comparison from the critics or the comparison from the artists? The comparison from everybody. Every time I hear a new nigga, you know what a new nigga is saying? I brought the West back. Or I did this mm. and I did that. I'll be like, 
How did you do that? You only been here for six months. Well, what I would say is like, as far as like what the status quo is, mm -hmm. um, the West is we're behind as mm -hmm. fuck. And the only time that the West was brought back, what I would say was like y'all era, like I said earlier, Definitely. or even like with the game. And I just feel like those comparisons, they're like, it's kind of like a false comparison because there's some people who you can like, I don't think it's com it's fair to compare a Tupac to a little baby. Like, I don't think that makes sense. How do you do that? It doesn't make sense to me. No, it doesn't. I think what makes sense is to compare maybe like the years to like, if we're talking about like, like I said, like a Tupac, he had a very short career. Mm -hmm. um, if you compare like his career to like, maybe like a Drake's career mm -hmm. and where they are. But I don't know. I just don't think that it really amounts to anything because it's just not fair being that the times are different. Yeah. We're in evolution. We have social media. We got podcasts now. Yeah. We have streaming. Like, yeah, definitely. It's way different for your music to reach certain ears. And back then, all we had to do was listen to music. That's the only way that we can get close to the artists was to listen to their music and maybe read a magazine interview. And then probably the interviews from like, you know, the actual radio stations and stuff like that. But now it's at a time where I can watch you on your live. I can watch yeah. you on Instagram. I can watch you on Twitter. So since I can see all these things from you, I don't need to listen to your music. Facts. So I don't know. I just, I just feel like some of the comparisons and things that we do, like the, the variables aren't the same. Facts. So, so for a nigga like me, I just be feeling like, like shit just be overwhelming um, For a nigga like, like me That's putting in work And still having Gina views Creating an interview for me Where it's like Niggas that's out here For six, seven months That's comparing themselves To a nigga like Joe Mose It'd be like How are you comparing yourself To me where I was hot in 2009 mm -hmm. In 2008 And I'm still hot in 2022 You know what's bad About those new people though Who The six month The nine monthers mm -hmm. They won't pull up To an interview Cause they think they're bigger than the program. Yeah, so they don't even know the, they don't know that that heat is going to cool down down in three months. I swear to God, I posted this. I said I'm gonna keep a G with you. Two years ago, a year ago, I was hitting niggas. What's up? Well, Joe Mo's just thinking like niggas show love and hey, big bro, I got you. Six, seven months, nigga no ain't response. do your verse, no response. Yeah. And all my kids, as soon as Burnum Dum come out, oh man, you got the you got the number one song. 310, 310 Baby got the number one song. And then Joe Moses. See, I always give credit. I'm not a nigga that's afraid to give another nigga credit. Yeah. 310 Baby got the number one song. Yeah. And then it's Joe Moses. Mm -hmm. One and two. I I I'll take that number two. He got the top of the top of the January song all the way to now. Mm -hmm. And I got motherfucking from November all Damn, the way to... that came out in January? I mean, whenever time it came out. Yeah, but then you always also got the Blueface feature. Went crazy. Mm -hmm. I like Blueface. Yeah. I like I like all the young niggas. Yeah. I like Blueface. I like motherfucking um, 310 Baby. I like Rucci. I like Baby Stone Gorillas. Mm -hmm. I like Abino. I like motherfucking... Uh, Lil Deuce I like ASM is fire I like I like every young nigga That's popping I like yeah. every young nigga That's popping I'm not a nigga That sit up here On these podcasts And talk bad about Another nigga mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck What other niggas think I don't care about Gang banging shit I don't care what nigga from mm -hmm. If it's ever been a time Where your shit is hot And I play it in the club I fuck with it mm -hmm. See a nigga afraid To say that Cause they are afraid When they get back To their hood They gonna get beat up well, it's something with this era right now where people just afraid to show love. So that's why when we even started this interview, I said, I'm not afraid to be a fangirl. I'm not afraid to say that you How are. How many times I'd have text you and said, I'm proud of you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's Leo shit, though. That's just come with our trade. Yeah. We ain't afraid to give another niggas our props because at the end of the day. Because we, we secure. Because we secure about our situation. Yeah. I'm going to always show love. And I feel like we lack that within our culture, within the community, within this whole rap shit. Like, it's just. If you show love, then you're a dick writer. If you don't show love, then you an old nigga, you a hater. It's like no middle ground with it. When it come to when it come to Joe Moses and it come to YG, when it come to RJ, when it come mm -hmm. to Nipsey, I always show love to them first. Mm -hmm. I don't care about where you put me at in that situation. YG kicked off the door for us. Yeah. What the fuck would I be mad at anybody else for not like I'm gonna always say that. And that's just facts. It's not Nothing that I'm saying is wrong about anything that bro is doing. 400, 
anything you can't put us in competition because bro kicked off the door for us like i'm glad you i'm really glad you said that because nobody is i don't feel like people are giving yg the recognition for Mm, come on what he did for us and and from tooting and booted like like, no cap from tooting and booted on to worry now stay there fuck tooting and booted fucking uh amy Amy. yeah Yeah. Amy, bad bitch. Yeah. Like, why you even putting out fucking hits? Since since then, since 2008. Yeah. yeah. 2009. I met yes. YG probably in 2008, 2009. Mm-hmm. I, I jerk. And I, and, I, and, I met, and I met Jizzle, and Jizzle was the same person that he was then and the same person that he is now. Yeah. The only difference that he is, probably a lot richer than he is now. Same, same nigga, same thing with myself. Same nigga, same putting out music, same thing with Mustard, same thing with, with Ty Dolla mm-hmm. Sign. We still the same people. But if you don't give us that collective crew our props, because you wasn't there for these parties and the trills and the TC 4800s and the Reem Riches, Joe Moses Mills, Reem Riches, Reem Riches all these other yeah. niggas, AV, TC. I always say AV, TC 4800. Mm-hmm. I always say, um, um, f- who else? Um, that was a part of Pushes. What's my other uh, nigga name? Um, that was in jail. That got out of jail. Um, fucking. It wasn't. I, it I was TC. No? no, not TC. That was the thing. Free was, TC. It, no, that was free. T- oh, oh, fuck. It um, was, um, not Jay Crazy. Not. It was somebody else. Free Jay Crazy was a thing too. <laughs> Why is all y'all laughing? What the fuck is she over there laughing? Wait, this interview is done. <laughs> Free Drake Crazy was a thing. What are you talking about? Oh, well, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode. Why would y'all do this to me? Hey. You did it. Hey. You said it. Niggas was saying free Dre Crazy though. Off, man. All right. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Whole Fashion. I am Gina Views. Make sure you share, like, subscribe, tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend that Whole Fashion just dropped. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. <laughs>